Twisted aliens and demented cultists battle across the devastating science fiction world of Dark Age. Master your forces and learn to survive at beastsofwar.com. Greek mythology rages to life in Mythic Battles Pantheon. Become a god and command heroes and monsters in a battle for Olympus at beastsofwar.com. Greetings, everybody. This is Dallas from Privateer Press, back again, still hanging out in the Beast of War painting studio. And today we're going to be talking about taking your gaming miniatures and repairing them, fixing them up. Um, as we all know, our gaming managers are well loved and sometimes they take a, take a heck of a beating on the tabletop from a stray dice or just uh, self-carelessness. I've dropped many of many adventures in my day. Um, and so what I want to talk about is taking the paint chips and covering them over. Um, this is a simple process and honestly something that I feel needs to be done about every five years or so on your, on your entire army. Um, your finger touching the miniature moving across the battlefield, the oils in your finger, uh, the oils in your skin tends to wear through and um, uh, disintegrate basically any sort of uh, protective coating you have. It's just nothing's permanent. So uh, as it wears out, then your finger starts touching the paint, the paint wears out or chipping. Uh, either of those things can occur. And you just got to repair your miniature sometimes. And that's okay. They're gaming miniatures. They're meant to be love and they're meant to see the the vigors of warfare. So with that being said, let's get started and fix up my butcher card off. So this is my butcher. This is my gaming model. This is for my army. Um, and I've owned this guy for a long time. He's been painted for a real long time, actually. And as you can see, <clears throat> as you can see, he's got some chipping. He's taken a hit here on his front gauntlet and his fingertips there. There looks to be one there. And the edge of his weapon is actually pretty chipped up. And if you spin him around, you can see his back of his cape. It's got a pretty gnarly chip. A little one there. So he's taken some damage over the years and I want to I wanna fix him up. So let's get to that. So I'm going to start on the red. Uh, the red on Kador is a little tricky because of all the glazing that happens. And so it's really hard to go back over that. But close enough is good enough in my opinion for a gaming model. And I'm just going to mix up a paint that's relatively close to what you see on the miniature and just paint over it. So with that, I'm going to take some Kador Red Base. Because of course that's what I painted him with. And some Kador Red Highlight. And just kind of look at the model and get a feel for what color is going on there. Now this is very much more akin to Keter Red Base than Keter Red Highlight, looking at his fingers there. And what I like to do is sometimes bring the bring it up and look at it up close near each other to kind of color match. Mine looks a little desaturated. So I'm going to take some of the men off white highlight, mix that in there to kind of desaturate that. Okay, get a little more orange. That looks pretty close. That looks pretty good. I'm just going to take Tip of my brush and get a little paint on there. And just paint those fingertips, reclaiming that metal. If you want, you can do kind of all the highlights at that area very quickly. What that does is tie that entire area together with the same colors in case your colors are just a little off. Maybe come down here. Now this is also a good time to add any new tricks or tighten up any lines that you may have. As you, as you progress throughout the years, of course you get better painting, you become a better painter, you get more brush control. So you can actually take this time to kind of tighten up any lines that you had from before and refine your painting right there on the model. 
As I said, this is my personal gaming model, so I'm not too worried about how great he looks. I just want him to look cool for the table. Doesn't have to be super blended or, you know, doesn't need a, any anything crazy like that on him. So I'm just going to put some lines on there to increase that contrast on the armor plates. Places I missed because I was a rush and a fairly inexperienced painter at the time. And got a little tap on the bottom of that. There we go. Now we can fix this pad right here. And it's beat up on both sides. For that, I'll be taking coal black and some Thamar black. This is very dark. Coal black is one of my most favorite colors in the uh, formula P3 line. It's great for highlighting black and shading red. It's a, it's a good color. Okay. Once again, I'm just going to take the tip of my brush, kind of go over the area that's been chipped. This is the same color back here. So I'm just going to go ahead and paint that over. I know there's another chip. There it is. Just over paint that. Now, of course, you see we have some brown on down here. So I'm going to put this color in to kind of seal it. You can just kind of Dab some paint on the chip, and that way it fills it up. I didn't even see this belt strap earlier that was chipped when we were going over our model. And just spinning around, making sure all those chips are taken care of. Once again, just spinning around, double checking, make sure everything is covered. Now I can mix up my final highlight. And for that, I'm going to take a little underbelly blue and add it to our mix. Makes a nice blue gray. I'm just going to highlight everything. Still very much in line with what was already previously painted. As I said, this is a gaming piece. So I'm not worried about blending too much. Maybe a little here just because it looks abrupt. There we go. Nothing fancy. These were never picked out before, so I'm going to go ahead and pick out these straps now. Make them stand out. There we go. As I said, this is sort of a necessary part of owning an army, and it gives you an opportunity to go back, revisit models, and just tidy them up, and uh, apply some new techniques to them if you want. And a long time ago, I cheated and never painted these straps. So I'm going to just add a little highlight to those. Like so. 
You could even make those traps a little more underbelly blue. Make those traps a little punchier. Just gonna take a little dot. You can make these gauntlets a little punchier by just putting a little dot of that color on the very edges. Just where the light would catch hard, hard glints. Maybe the tips of the spikes. Not the only part that's been damaged still, looking over my model, make sure I'm not wrong here, is the edge of my axe. And for that, I'll just take some cold steel. I'm just gonna paint the entire edge. Like even though it's chipped, even though it's just chipped, let's see if I can get him in camera here. There you can see the chip right there. Even though it's chipped there, I'm, I'm just gonna go ahead and paint the whole thing, the whole edge, just to give it a unified sharp edge of the axe. Something like so. I'll let that dry and come back to it. While I'm doing that, I'm gonna fancy up any metals I have, adding a little highlight to them. I can put a little line, add a little texture to that axe. Mm, that didn't work. A little heavy handed. Looks like I've gotten all the damage to my model. And I can just add some of the, uh, the dirt back to his skirt. So looking at that, I'm gonna assume that at that time, let's use a little bootstrap leather. Looks pretty close. And I'm just going to take a small dry brush. Remove most of the paint. And flick it over where we at, fixed our battle or fixed the damage. Can even kind of increase the amount of dirt back here. Maybe on his shoes a little bit. This guy's been in a been in quite the battle, so I want him to look rough and tumble. Maybe some on this front flap. And with that. I've repaired my model and I'm ready to get him back on the battlefield, back into the mix. Remember, we love our models, but our models need love back. My name is Dallas from Privateer Press. Thanks for watching. Remember to check out our links below. And as always, happy painting. Go ahead and check out our other content on screen now. And be sure to check out beastsofwar.com for the latest gaming news and gaming let's plays. And while you're at it, why not hit subscribe and remember to ding our dong.
Go on, you know you want to click it. Go on.